Welcome back, boys and girls, man. Sit down, hurry up, get yourself situated because you ain't gonna wanna miss what I got for you today. Look, oh, before we get started, I gotta introduce myself to the new cat that just showed up. Welcome to New Stuff TV 2, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. Man, I wish I would have done this a lot sooner, Richardson, because today we are checking out a brand new speaker from Treb Lab. And I got, look, I hate to disappoint you or anger some people, but it's gonna be some people really upset in the comment section. I understand your fiery attitude and passion about the products that you love and the brands that you love, but sometimes you just got to take the L, bro. <laughs> I'm speaking to you, you JBL fanboys. <laughs> oh man, it's about to get heated. Let's go. So a quick story time behind this video, I was actually about to do a video on the best speakers for home office or work from home. And these are the ones that I've actually enjoyed from home. So I just figured I'd just collect them and share them with you. But lo and behold, I had something in my closet. Well, okay, this thing right here. This box has been sitting on my shelf for weeks, man. Like since like probably November, 2023 or early December, 2023. Trab Lab sent that over, they just sent it. They didn't ask me if I would do a video or nothing. They just sent it and said, hey, here's our gift to you. I was looking at it like, I ain't gotta do a video for this thing. And you know, you know brands, you know what I mean? Trab Lab is a good brand, but you know, we always like flock towards like Soundcore and JBL and Sony for speakers. So we just don't give things a, a, a valid chance, right? So like I just said, I left it on the shelf for weeks. So I'm getting ready to do this video. And I was like, you know what? I'm about to gather up all these speakers. Some of them are various sizes. So let me just, let me just finally open this thing up, right? So I turned it on. By the way, my wife works in the room next to me. And um, man, <laughs> I turned it on and I was, my, my phone was stuck on a song, uh, King's Rant by Masego. You gotta check that one out. King's Rant by Masego. I can't play it for you because uh, YouTube will flag, uh, flag the crap out of me. Anyways, I turned it on the bass line kicks in on this thing and I'm holding it in my hand. Like as soon as I turn it on, first of all, it's hard to figure out how to turn it on. Talk about that in a minute. But I turned it on, the, my first reaction was damn. And my wife was like, whoa, what was that? She's in the next room. I was like, it's this new speaker. So I showed it to her. She was like, are you serious? I said, yeah, man. So it even got my wife in the next room. I don't think I've really formally introduced this speaker from Treb Lab. What you're looking at right here is the Treb Lab HD 360. They call it 360 because you don't have to face this thing anyways. It has 360 degree sound coming out of the top and you have five passive radiators and drivers going across or around the body of this thing. It sounds freaking incredible. <laughs> so today's video, I, I don't even know what I really wanted to do, but the first thing that came to my mind was, damn, this sounds good. And then the next thing came to, that came to my mind was, this totally obliterates something that is one of my favorite speakers, like my portable joints right here, the JBL Charge 5. You guys know how much I love this speaker. And as much as I don't like the JBL Extreme 3 and I think it's overpriced and overhyped, I still thought about these two speakers immediately because these are the ones that people would say, hey, is it better than this? But let's clear all these off the desk because we need to talk about the, the stars of the show, which is gonna be Treb Lab and JBL. Okay, so the reason I decided to compare these to these two JBL speakers is because of price and let's say power output. Now, when it comes to power output, it's kind of subjective because JBL, to me, it's clear on their website, like how much power these things are pushing out. But for some of you, you guys like to multiply and add numbers that really don't exist. So I ain't even gonna say nothing about power output, but I do know that Treadlab boasts 90 watts of power coming out of this thing. And that's peak, they're claiming 80 watts of RMS and they're giving it to you for a low price at $159 on their website right now. That is incredible for what you're getting with this speaker. And that makes me think about this joint right here, which is about 170 bucks on the website. Did I just turn this on? It's 170 bucks on their website. Uh, you could probably get it cheaper somewhere else. This is the JBL Charge 5. And let me tell you something. In real life, during my personal testing, the Treb Lab HD 360 completely obliterated the Charge 5. And y'all know how much I love this speaker, man. Like, I don't even really like talking bad about it. <laughs> like, that. I freaking love the Charge 5, but this thing, it just got beat up. It just got a, like a smackdown from the Treadlab HD 360. So we're just gonna put it off to the side. First of all, 
it kind of beats it in a lot of ways. Let's, you know what, let's camp out here for just a second. First of all, let's talk about battery life. They both boast up to 20 hours of battery life, uh, and that's always gonna be subjective depending on how loud you play this thing. Uh, then we, we'll talk about, um, let's say, uh, durability. I'm going to have to give that hands down to the JBL Charge 5 because of its materials. You got the neoprene on the outside, got the uh, wrapping, the fabric wrapping right here and stuff like that. This thing is just made to grab and go and it's made for durability and doing life with you. And that's one of the reasons why I like it so much. And it's water and dust proof. It's got a high rating for that kind of stuff. Whereas uh, the Treblab HD 360, not so much, man. I forget the numbers on this thing, but... It's like IPX4 or something like that. This is not your beach speaker. Don't be taking it out there. You could take it by the pool. It could probably take a splash or something like that, but don't be submerging it and, and abusing it. It's not even, I mean, it doesn't even feel like it's made like that. I mean, it's heavy. It's got good build materials, but this is a speaker that is not made for taking about with you and just doing life with. This is the set it down and get your jam on speaker. But in the way of sound, y'all know, once again, how much I love the way this thing sounds, uh, the JBL Charge 5, but it just cannot compare. It, it can't even keep up to the HD360. So that speaker is off to the side now. And now we're gonna just go ahead and jump into what people would think the real contest was. When you look at a size comparison, the HD360 kind of sits in between the two. It's definitely bigger than the Charge 5, and it's kind of the same size, maybe bigger, maybe smaller. It depends on how you squash this thing down uh, than the Xtreme 3. But for all intents and purposes, this is a very comparable speaker uh, when we're talking about like head-to-head -head competition. Except when we're talking about price. With JBL on the Extreme 3, you got to spend like $250, 279 to get one of these things. This is pretty much, it's like it can end up being a $300 speaker depending on where you're going to get it from. Whereas this one is sitting right at $179, not on sale, I think, and $159 on sale right now on the Trev Lab website. Come on, man. You, you really cannot beat this price. Look, let's do a little quick comparison on some uh, Surface specs here. I looked it up on JBL's website and I added up 50 watts for the tweeters and then another 50 watts for the um, dynamic range uh, drivers that are in here. Now, once again, man, you do your own math. This is what I found on JBL's website. And for all you people that tell me you gotta plug this thing in to get that wattage, look, I don't care. I'm not plugging it in. That's not how JBL advertises this speaker. It is what it is. Anyways, we're getting 90 max, 80, uh, RMS from the Trev Lab HD360. Uh, and then let's talk about battery life. They're claiming 15 hours, I believe, on the JBL Extreme 3. Once again, subjective, depending on how you play it. And then you're getting the, the whole 20 out of this. Once again, it's going to be subjective, but as far as uh, up to or the max battery life you're going to get out of here, you're going to get an extra five hours coming out of here. Durability stands still with JBL. They're still going to kill it in the game when it comes to durability because you can take this thing, dunk it in a pool and drag it through the sand and just beat the crap out of it. And it's going to maintain its integrity because you got these little bump stops right here on the outside. You got your you're wrapping right here and you even get this carrying strap, which is something, you know, I, I'm not a huge fan of the strap. I wish it had more of a handle. That way you can really grab and go with it because it's not going to be a palmable speaker for a lot of people like the JBL Charge 5, but the handle is still better than what you get with the HD360. You see here, I'm grabbing it by these little grills right here. This is not the way to hold this speaker. They just don't give you a way to grab it. It's, it's like I said, you set it down and you leave it there and you have the party. But there's one thing I did forget to mention that's kind of important to me these days when it comes to these smaller Bluetooth speakers that Treblab has over the, both JBL speakers, and that is a microphone. You get a microphone in this thing. You can't see this panel right now, but once I turn it on, it lights up and you have a microphone, you got your play and pause button, it's all touch and stuff like that. But that's really important these days because like I said, I was about to do a video for the best work from home speaker. And if you're gonna have a work from home speaker and you're gonna have it pretty close to you, a speaker phone might come in handy. All right, man, I'm tired of sitting here talking about all this. Y'all ain't even gonna believe me unless I let y'all hear a little bit of something, something. So let me show you how to turn this bad boy on. You turn it around to the backside, which you can't really tell which is the front or the back because it's a 360 speaker until you look at this little speaker booty right here. You just unfold that and then you can see you got yourself a, um, a 3.5 millimeter input and then you got your USB-C and then you got your power button. But you can also press the power button here. 
So press that power button right there and it turns on. You hear that tone, you see it all light up there. Let's look at this real, real quick as it connects to my phone. You will see a link button because yes, you can link two of these up together. And then you got your NFC pairing button, you got your microphone button, and then you got your tread lab icon. Right there you have a play and pause. And then of course you have your touch for your volume controls, man. Let's go. I'm ready, man. Let's go.